You may have noticed the hand sanitizers in the Haley Center and around campus. Well, that's because the H1N1 virus, otherwise known as the swine flu, has hit the plains. There are now more 50 cases reported in Auburn. I went to the AU Medical Clinic to find out what you can do to stay well and what the school's doing to keep you healthy. <coughs> Coughing, sneezing, and headaches aren't symptoms of your common cold this year. According to the Auburn University Medical Clinic, 50 students have been confirmed with the H1N1 swine flu virus. And medical officials such as Dr. Fred Cam predict that matters will only continue to grow worse. We would be wrong to think that this, is, this pattern for this H1N1 virus is going to follow the seasonal flu. This one we're going to be dealing with all the entire fall and well into next year, I'm certain of that. And yes, with having, you know, home football games, the one that's, you know, just a couple weeks away from now, we expect that there will be people who will come and bring it, and we will expect people who will come here and take it away with them. In less than two weeks, the Jordan Hare Stadium will be jam-packed with thousands of Auburn fans standing shoulder to shoulder. And with the H1N1 swine flu virus sweeping the nation and Auburn's campus, students and faculty are concerned their health may be at risk. Someone in my 10 a.m. class today left and went to the medical clinic and she texted me and said that she had swine flu. So it's very real and it's kind of scary. Doctors are encouraging students, like Caitlin Lolly, to go home until their health improves. But class absences just within the first week of school make students feel uneasy. Now I'm like super stressed because I don't want to miss anything that's going to be important. It's kind of a bummer. I'm having already missed school since it's my freshman year, but oh well. The swine flu vaccination will not be available until October. Until then, doctors urge students to practice good hygiene and social distancing.